What's going on traders? It's Tyler here. Today we're going to be talking about BTTH on the stock ticker Biopath Holdings. And um, this one um, gapped up this morning from 15.60 to $21 and then ran up to about 24 um, or about $25 almost and then retreated back for the rest of the day. So we'll go ahead and uh, talk about why this happened and more. Um, the share float on this one is 2.37 million. So keep that in mind. That's pretty low. That's ideal what we're looking for. They did have positive news for this one today. Um, apparently, um, they uh, re re rescinded their um, offering, uh, something like that. So basically, they're not going to have a stock offering anymore or something along those lines. I didn't read too much into it, but I know there was some positive news. I didn't end up trading this one today, but I do want to cover it for a possible continuation trade tomorrow. So... We'll go ahead and start by drawing a simple trend line here um, as a third break of this trend line would be a confirmed si sidewinder. Um, so that would be interesting. We are in the five minute chart right here and we are below um, the Kijinsen and the VWAP right now and we are touching off the moving average it looks like, but we are above the Tikinsen so basically we're just ranging in this pretty big range of about $25 to $20 um, throughout the day. So we'll go ahead and start by drawing our support and resistance really quick. We have our resistance up here at $24.75 and we have our support down here at $20.05. We'll just say $25 and $20. Um, and then we have our median looks like here about let's see we'll go ahead and put it at about 2250 about so about where the VWAP is um, yeah so this is an interesting um, I'll be definitely be watching this tomorrow for a continuation trade um, it's looking pretty much undecided as I said we're still ranging in here and um, we did, uh, oops, see, oops, okay, we did break, you can see there was a trend line that we were we were riding on earlier, and we did break through that, which caused us to fall down here to the support here, but there is a chance to recover, so um, for tomorrow, what we're going to want to see is we're going to want to see a, a break back above the moving average, the Kijinsen, and the VWAP. Those three things would give us, would give you know the bullish signal. That's what you want to see because you want to see the direction. You want to see that direction heating up. That's telling you the momentum's coming in, the kicking in. So now the next thing you want to look for is that pattern breakthrough. You want to see a break above this median and above this trend line here. So about we want to see a bullish push up to twenty three dollars about, and um, then we want to. Once that happens, you know, have an alert once it passed 2250 or whatever you do, have a momentum scanner up. Um, once we see that happen, once we see that close above this 2250 area and then retest that, come down and retest and stabilize that area, that's when we want to take notice. And then once that retest, once we stabilize here, we get some green bullish candles, uh, shooting stars, hammers, whatever it may be, reversal candles, and then we want to see a break above the pullback point. For me, that's my entry. I have a stop or I have a stop order there sometimes or whatever. Sometimes I use market order, but this all depends on the moment. Um, this one probably a stop order, and so it just depends on whatever your strategy is is fine. But the point is, is we want to see a break above this pullback point that's the entry and then we ride it up to this resistance up here at 2475 and you can do multiple things you can sell three quarters of your position you can sell it all you can 
don't sell any of it you can try to ride it out um for me i usually sell it all or three quarters and hold to see hold the rest to see if we go up because we can always go right back down to where we came or lower right so it's always a good thing to take profits um that's what i always tell all my students and everybody that i know so um now if you're looking to go back that's the bullish move that's what i look for to tomorrow and again if it breaks above here this 2475 i would look for the same kind of move here to repeat and you know ride it up to the next resistance up there um but for the sake of time, we're going to skip ahead. Now, if you're looking to go short, uh, then it, you, it's already looking good for you as we have a red cloud. We're below the key just in here. We're below the VWAP. Um, we're not getting rejected off the moving average, so that's all good signs. But we don't want to just hop into the trade, right? Never want to do that. Um, what we want to see it is a break below this 2005 area. We want to see a clean break and close above below that level right here right and we want to see it come back and retest off that 2005 area and we want to see it get rejected just like kind of like just an example how it comes up here Ch test this um, trend line test this level of resistance got rejected red candle it tried to make a move higher but the rejection was too hard broke through that resistance that was from that other trend line and broke through that's how you can coordinate what's going to happen next those retest off those areas of support and resistance so once you see that once you see that break and come back up to retest out that 2005 look for um you know have an alert or whatever have an alert for when it breaks past 2005 or whatever you want to do whatever your strategy calls for and then again my entry is when i is when we break past the pullback point wherever that may be and i ride that down to the next resistance or next support down here and um so and i'm in and out i'm in and out I hold for long periods of time i'm in and out scalp trading uh low float stocks as quick as possible low float stocks on news or continuations um so yeah hope this video helped you if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate it very much. Have a wonderful day. Hey there, you must have liked this video. If you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you can get more videos just like this one.